Hey everyone, how you all going? So today I have a book review for you and that is Shatter Me by Tahira Murphy. So Juliet is locked up in this cell as a result of her fatal touch. So no one really knows why this happens or how it happens basically, but she just can't touch anyone otherwise she, you know, kind of kills them. She has been locked up alone in this cell 264 days. She's had no contact with any humans. She hasn't talked to anybody, hasn't really seen anybody. And then all of a sudden there is this guy that joins her in this cell. So let's talk about the plot. I was really, really intrigued by it. The synopsis leaves you just really curious to know what is going to happen and why and how Juliet's touch is lethal, like how she, how does she kill people by her touch. So basically when she's locked up in this cell you're just kind of guessing why is she here, what has she done, I'm just curious to know what is going on. There's just such a captivating plot, I sped through this book, I was on the edge of my seat wanting to know more. There's some action, there's some really good romance, I love the romance in this book. It was amazing. Now onto the writing of the book itself. The best way to describe the writing style would just be beautiful, basically. It's so poetic and really visual. You get a really good mental image of what is going on and it was just really, really well written. I loved the writing style. What I found really interesting with the writing style and the format of it was the crossed out sections. You see how there's just sections and text and then it's crossed out. Those bits that are crossed out are those kind of thoughts in the back of your mind that you just kind of kind of shove away. You don't pay attention to those but we actually see them in the book so we know what's really going on, what she's really thinking. It makes you feel like you're actually inside Juliet's mind. It's as if you're reading her subconscious thoughts in her mind along with the more controlled and prominent voice. Her subconscious thoughts kind of reveal her true feelings rather than what she believes to be right or what she should be thinking. It's just so raw and natural. Now onto our characters. We have a bunch of really interesting characters in this one. I really liked Juliet. I thought she was a great protagonist. She's obviously a bit broken inside. She's been through a lot. She's a prisoner and she's had a lot of time by herself and obviously if I was in isolation for that long I would probably be a bit more crazy than her. That's not what really gives her depth. It's those situations she's experienced and those that she's been forced into that really show her strength. And then there's Adam. I quite liked Adam. At the start I was really confused by him. I was just curious as to what he was all about really. I mean when he was introduced he was he was a bit of a bastard but you eventually learn and understand why he was acting that way, what his motives were. And then my favourite character of all is Warner. He was an incredible antagonist. He's just basically so messed up mentally. He's really disturbing. I don't know I just got kind of creeped out by him. He was really well drawn out and very very solid character but still he was so just evil. The thing that makes him such an incredible character is he had solid reasons for his actions and his beliefs and everything and is just a really really in-depth character. The way this book ended I am so so excited to see how this goes. I liked the shift in tone at the end of it. It's just oh it's just so exciting. I can't wait to see what happens. My rating for Shadow Me is of course 5 out of 5 stars. No doubt about it. So that is all for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye. It's just so captivating and keeps you on the edge of their sheet. Your sheet. Is that a mix between sit and sheet? Sit and shit. Seat and shit. My god, I cannot speak. The plot is just so captivating. There's so much action and 